Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Gata. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about top 10 tools for Java developer. So if you want to make a career in Java development, make sure you master these top 10 tools. So what I will do, I have created a PPT and I have listed down each tools that you should master in order to become a Java developer. So one by one, I will discuss all these 10 tools that you should be mastering in order to become a Java developer. So let's get started for that. Let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the first tool, which is Java itself. So as a Java developer, you should have a command on the Java basic concept, Java Oops concept, how to connect a Java application to the database, and what is Java collection framework. You should be mastering this basic concept of Java as a Java developer. Once you master this basic concept of the Java, you should be focusing on the Java 8 features like Lambda expression, stream APIs, functional interfaces, date and time APIs, what are the feature introduced in the Java 8, you should be mastering those things. So this is the first tool that you should master as a Java developer. Now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the IDEs. So let's say you are going to develop a Java application. So where you are going to develop that application, you need a IDE, okay, integrated development environment. You should have already heard about the names like Eclipse, IntelliJ and NetBeans. So these are the famous IDEs. So let's say you are familiar with the Eclipse. So make sure you have developed more than 10 or 20 Java application on Eclipse so that you know how to configure your application in Eclipse, how to do the basic setup of your application in Eclipse, how to do the setup of uh, Maven, how to do dependency management in Eclipse. So those things you should be mastering in. So either pick Eclipse or IntelliJ or NetBeans, any of these tools, and then try to develop as much as Java application as you can do on this IDE and master any of these IDEs. So my favorite is IntelliJ and make sure you pick any of these IDEs and master them. So the second tool is IDE. Okay, now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the version control system, which is Git. Okay, or you can say Tortoise Git. And then you should also learn about the GitHub. So if you don't know what is version control system is, so let's say you have developed a Java application. Now you want to store it somewhere on the cloud or on the Git GitHub. So what you will do, you will take the help of Git run some commands and store your application to the github once that is stored and let's say new development is being done in your application then you should be taking care of uh, the controlling of versions right so that is being managed by the git or you can use the Toto git as well and for storing the application on github you should be using github so make sure you have the basic knowledge of git and github as well okay now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the unit testing. So once you have developed your application, you should be writing the unit test cases for your application, okay, for your methods. So you should be mastering this unit testing tools like JUnit, Mokito, okay. So to write the JUnit, uh, sorry, to write the unit test cases, you should be using the JUnit as a tool and to mock your data, you should be using Mokito. I have missed to write the Mokito here, so make sure that you add the Mokito in your tool list as well for the unit testing. Okay, now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the other tools. So here I have listed down the Postman or Insomnia. Okay, so let's say you have developed your Java application and you have developed a couple of REST APIs there in your application. How you can hit those APIs as a client? So you should be using either Postman or Insomnia. So these are the tools that are being used as a client to hit your Java application or Java APIs. Okay, so make sure you note these tools and make sure you have a basic understanding how to configure them and how to add your APIs there and how to hit them. So you should be having the knowledge of Postman or Insomnia as well. Now the next tool is Build Tool and Dependency Management Tool which is either Maven or Gradle. So let's say you have developed a Java application and you are using dependency management tool as a Maven tool or build tool as a Maven tool. 
so you should be mastering how uh, to configure the maven in your application and how the maven help us in uh, doing the dependency management what are the basic maven command to build your application to install your uh, dependencies to clean your application all those things you should be mastering in if you are not using maven make sure you have the basic understanding of gradle if you are using it so these are the basic build and dependency management tool that you should be mastering in in order to master the java development okay now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the static code analytic analysis tool which is sonar cube so what does sonar cube does sonar cube checks the coding standard for the application so let's say you have developed your java application if you have not followed the coding standard then this sonar cube will tell you that the coding standards for this application is being not met so this is checking the coding standard for your application this is refining your code this is also trying to find out the potential bug and security vulnerability in your code so make sure you have the basic understanding and knowledge how the sonar cube is working okay so this is one of the finest tool or important tool as a java developer you should be aware of now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about couple of cicd tools so once you have developed your application once you have written down the unit test cases you know how to manage the dependencies you know that there is a like no potential bugs or vulnerability in your application now what you will do the next step is to deploy your application for that you should be developing a continuous integration and continuous development pipeline and the jenkins will help you there okay so here you can see uh, once you have written down your code you push your code to the gate now you will create a pipeline using jenkins to deploy your application to some servers okay so for that you uh, to writing to write down the jenkins pipeline or to write down the continuous integration or continuous del delivery pipeline you should be using jenkins so you should know how the jenkins is work and how you can write the steps or stages in the jenkins pipeline or how you can build a jenkins pipeline yourself so you should be aware on that so make sure you master the technology called jenkins as well if you are not using jenkins you can go and use the github action as well so there are videos on my channel where i have created the play playlist for this uh, jenkins and github action as well so you can watch it out okay now the next thing is uh apache tomcat server so let's say uh you are you develop a spring boot application or let's say you develop a java application but there is no embedded server in it there is no embedded server in your application you have to deploy your application on the external server then in that case how to uh, log into the apache tomcat server how the tomcat configuration is being done how to deploy your jar jar or the var that you have created out of your application should be done on apache tomcat server you should be aware of so make sure you have the basic understanding of the apache tomcat server as well okay now the next thing is uh, log management so let's say you want to like like you have deploy your application on the production environment and now you want to manage your logs so for that for the real time log management you can use the tool called splunk there is a video on my channel where i have discussed how to integrate the splunk in your spring boot application okay so these are the main 10 tools that you should master in order to become a good java developer so let me try to summarize you the whole thing again okay so let me try to go there okay so the first thing that you should master as a java developer is the java java basic concept oops concept database connectivity collection and java add features like stream apis lambda expression functional interface and date and time apis now the next tool is ides so any pick any of these ides and try to develop as much as application you can do in those ides to master them now the sec third tool is a uh, version control system which is git or uh, totoys git you can use and then github 
the fourth tool is unit testing tool which is either JUnit and Mokito then the client you can use as a postman or insomnia then build and dependency management tool which is Maven or Gradle and then static code analysis tool which is SonarCube then CICD pipeline tool either you can use Jenkins or GitHub Action then Apache Tomcat server then for the log management you can use Splunk so these are the important tools you should be knowing and you should be having the command on as a Java developer so if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks